Hello, welcome back to Diecast Restos and this final part of the Porsche 917 LH Custom for the Three Blind Mice monthly build. In the previous video, I was awaiting the decals to arrive from Spain, and here's quite a fast forward recap as to how we reached this point. I hope you got all that. So this is the 917 driven to pole position in the 1970 Le Mans 24 hours by Vic Elford and Kurt Ahrens, and the decals I'll be applying here replicate that car. First off, I apply the front end centre number 25 with the Porsche crest attached. I readjust a little and then roll out the excess moisture. Next up are the SAV Marshall logos above each headlight. SAV Marshall are manufacturers of automotive equipment. Next I prepare the sides ready for number application. The right hand number 25 was surrounded with a grey circle on the test car. I assume this was part of the test vehicle regulations of the time or something similar. The right hand number 25 did not have the grey halo however. Now the Goodyear tyre logo and Shell Oil and Gas Company lettering are applied to the sides. The Goodyear logo is a tiny yellow diamond in this instance, but it goes on relatively trouble free. The Shell wording was very thin and it did move around a fair amount. The final visible advertising on the test livery is the Bosch Automotive Parts logo, which features red Bosch lettering on a yellow background. The race livery had red surrounds on the headlights, with two additional parallel streaks on the rear wing end plates. The final decal to be applied, other than the mirror decals on the right hand side of the car, is the rear angled number 25. When I'm happy with the angle, I roll out the excess moisture. With the decal setting, I apply some Mr. Mark Softer solution over each of them. Again, I drain off the excess fluid using a cotton bud. Then a couple of last bits of silver detailing are applied. So with the build nearing completion, I had originally intended to weather with some weathering pigments. I picked up these all clad earth and dark ashes grey tones to give the look of a Le Mans car that has raced for many hours on end. But I opted not to as I thought the decals looked great as they were and this is a test car after all and it wouldn't have appeared quite as dirty I think. So I instead present it as a clean model and pop some chrome on the subframe moulding on the base. So once again here is how the Hot Wheels 917LH started out. And here is how the completed custom finally looks. The decal quality is something else and it really sets the model apart. They went on with no problem at all and are amazingly well suited to the 1 in 64 scale. They are crisp, clear, well printed and completely legible. I can't recommend Le Mans decals enough. It's a pity the decals didn't arrive in time for the grand reveal on the 25th of July. But I hope you'll agree it was worth the wait. As always, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Keep up to date with my latest projects on my Diecast Restos Instagram page. And if you can, please help support the channel on Patreon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again, maybe even tomorrow for the next one. Bye for now.